Alrighty, so I just made an interesting discovery, which I'm sure other builders have gone over. Um, I'll try to get this in frame here, but what, uh, what I found is during this section here, uh, where we're modifying um, each of these lengths, taking material from the middle, um, there's a part here where you cut down the material and then you have to then designate it um, which part it is. So for instance, this first part that I'm cutting, I'm turning an R1015 into an R1015A, R for right and L for left. Um, but what gets interesting here, and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it on camera, but these holes are actually, I think like one thirty second of an inch um, off from each other, which I actually, I think you can see that on camera. But you'll see this right hole, uh, that right hole there is closer to the, to the bend than the one on the left. Um, and the reason why that's important is because we're designating, designating while we cut these, which is left, which is right. So on this drawing here, it says these are um, shown unbent. So what I found is they mean unbent as in if it was to sit here uh, as a V shape, flattened from there, not the other way around. So I was going to cut this and I had it uh, labeled, um, labeled incorrectly, I think. Uh, so yeah, so I had labeled this um, R15, 1015, or R1015 AR and 1015 AL uh, when it's actually the other way around because I'm looking at this hole here, the way I have it done, the R, the, um, uh, the right portion has the hole that's furthest away from the bend when in reality it looks like the R has the hole that's closest to the bend. So I'll switch these around, but it's just really good to know um, that such a minute uh, difference uh, could have had some pretty big consequences. I'm sure I would have figured it out later on down the, down the road when I went to Clico things together. It would be off by a 30 second. Uh, but it's just good to know for the build going forward uh, to keep a lookout for uh, any small changes in uh, measurements. So we'll get back to this. So that should do it for cutting. Um, so we got all these laid out here, and looks like uh, next step is going to be um, getting everything here deburred, um, kind of finish forming these on the wheel, on the, uh, the Scott Sprout wheel there. So we'll finish forming those and buffing um, a little bit later. So we got all of the deburring, sanding, everything done. I jumped a little bit ahead and really just wanted to make sure I had all the parts ready to go. Uh, that way I don't have to keep having to uh, bring out the Dremel and get dust everywhere and whatnot. So we should be good to go. Um, so next steps are going to be putting things together. It should be fun. We'll start making another airplane part. So we'll end the video here with a, uh, a voiceover of a time lapse here. Um, I'm not sure if you noticed or not, but I did change the style of the videos. I wanted to include a couple more sections where I slow down the speed just to show um, how fully involved some of those cuts are or some of that deburring is. Um, so let me know if, if you have any feedback there, if you want to see more of that, if you want to see more just quick zip through, kind of like what we're watching now, um, but really just trying to make these videos as enjoyable as possible. Um, I'm going to end the video here though. This really what I did in this time lapse here uh, over the course of these, these five hours all sped up uh, was getting the skins, um, getting the, that blue material off of all the skins there, deburring the edges with a file, sandpaper, and Scotch-Brite, 
and putting everything together and doing a, a test fit of everything. Um, so the next video that we'll have will involve dimpling and getting stuff riveted together. Um, but yeah, look forward to seeing you next time. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end here. Um, if you have a chance, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. That like button uh, lets me know that, number one, you like the video. And then it also helps with the algorithm to get the, uh, the video out there to other viewers. Um, so yeah, comment down below if you have any feedback or any other suggestions. But I'll see you on the next video. Adios.